I don't know, I've only got four chords. Brought to you by Adobe Radio, in partnership with Nice Guy Digital, and recorded live in beautiful North Hollywood, California. Thanks Oops. for turning on my microphone, Brett. On today's episode, Madeline Lauer is in studio. Her album, Open Book, is available now on iTunes and Spotify and all the places. We're going to read some fan mail. And uh, I'm going to try to come down for my sugar high from yesterday's birthday celebrations. It was a cake extravaganza! <laughs> now let's get to the guy who's graduated high school three times. That's me. Your new best friend. Brett Tavern! Listen up, everybody. This is our show. Thank you for listening. And joining us live on Adobe Radio. Still people out there who can't figure out how to find the show, Katie. What? There are still a few of them. Tell them how. Well, everybody who's listening right now has already found it. Oh. So. Well, that's true. Sort of defeats the purpose. Oh. But you tell your friends to go to idobi.com, and then you're going to have to look around, people. There's a streamer on there somewhere. There's a little button, you push it, and then you push Adobe Radio, and then you push Listen Now, or something like that. You know what's way easier though, Katie? What? Instead of going to the actual website? What's that? Who does that? It's 2017. Oh, who on. goes to an actual website? Is there something you can download on your phone? You just go to any app store and download the Adobe app for free, mm. open it up. Yep. You can fill out your Facebook information, but you don't have to. You, you can don't also have to. you can also skip that part. And then you just there's three options. You got Adobe Radio, Adobe Howl, and Adobe Anthem. You click on Adobe Radio, and then you hit listen now. And at 7 a.m. every weekday morning, you're gonna hear these uh, nasally tones. Well, plus the music, right? Because maybe if they're hearing this, they're listening to the podcast. That's true, too. Anyway. Just saying. That's how you find it. You know, you can call the show anytime, one 888 adobe Shout out a friend, shout at us or with us. It's all good. Once again, the phone number is one 888 Um, Also, you can call, even when we're not on the air, and leave a voicemail. And sure. we, were, we were listening to some of the voicemails this morning, and they're golden. I think we should play some. I think we should play some, too. So anyway, that's what you guys can do. The email for the show is bdsfans at adobe.com. That's bdsfans at adobe.com. Okay, lots and lots of show to get to today. Madeline Lauer coming in. The theme music hasn't faded out yet. Katie's frantically typing away on her phone. I'm vamping because I don't know if the world's falling apart outside or not. <laughs> We're good. What's happening? Nothing. What happened? Keep going. No, what happened? What's wrong? Nothing. Keep going. Are you okay? I'm so good. Who's possibly texting you with an emergency at 7.07 in the morning? I don't know, but my morning was made today by text messages, so. Wait, what's, no, but what's happening right now? What's Nothing, the emergency? we're good. I want to know. What's happening? Say hello to me. Hello, Katie. It's Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day. Wait, were you freaking out because you forgot to look up the national holiday? I was. You hello. guys... Okay, Boy Wonder. I made you skip his hello. I'm when sorry. you make the YouTube video, <laughs> you must be on Katie for how freaked out she was 
just that she forgot to look up the national arbitrary holiday. Look. It was as if... <laughs> Back up from the microphone if you're going to laugh that loud. Listen, it was as if her mom texted with a peeking chicken nightmare at Firewalk in San Antonio, Texas off the I-10. That's what it looked like. It looked like her mom was like, the rice cooker exploded. I just didn't want to forget about the bittersweet chocolate with almonds. I didn't say hi to uh, my, my stepson yet this morning. Can you pipe down over there yet? Hello, boy wonder. Hello. All right. What was it? Bittersweet chocolate with almonds day? Yeah. That is a, hot, a very specific national holiday. I'm crying. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> you okay? Yep. Oh, it's a good day. You get so freaked out over there. It's like, and then I freak out because I'm sort of nervous anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh. This is song break number one. <laughs> this is Red Hot Moon by Rancid. Thank you for watching on YouTube or for listening to the podcast version of our show. We love you. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message. Sometimes rules don't allow us to play that kind of stuff on YouTube or on the podcast. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a few seconds. Check out the Brett Davern Show on Facebook.com slash Brett Davern Show. IW Radio. You've got mail. Allison, 21 years old, from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Good morning, Katie, Brett, and Boy Wonder. I love your show. Brett, you have to thank Katie. Thanks to her, you won one more fan. You can email the show anytime at bdsfans at adobe.com. That's bdsfans at i-d-o-b-i dot c-o-m. I like that you just spelled calm for the people. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Just want to be clear. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're welcome. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. Yep. Will you turn up my headphones a little bit? Just a little. Just a touch. Mm, keep going. Just a little bit more. There it is. That sounds good. That's where they were <clears throat> when you asked me to turn them down. I, I know, but uh, for some reason the music came on. It was so loud and my ears almost flew off my head and my eyeballs almost came You gotta let rancid seep into your flying ears out of my and skull. into your brain. <laughs> Is he the, he's the dude with the tattoo on the top of his head. Yeah. Yeah, maybe the ink's gone to his brain. Oh, I think he's... He's a little crazy? Uh, potentially, what? yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, he's in the newest season of X Files. Fun fact. Really? Mm -hmm. He's got that like. That was a bad impression, but he's got a weird voice. No, go with it. Let's hear it. What's he sound like? He's a little bit slurry, and it's kind of like I, I don't know. That's a really bad Tim Armstrong. He's a little bit slurry. Slurry, sl slurry. I could do that voice. S Sally collects seashells down by the seashore. <laughs> Does she wear the retainer? But do that with a like guttural punk rock thing, and then you got Tim Armstrong. Do you ever have braces? Oh yeah. You did. Big time. Did you have headgear? Uh, no, I had the thing that's not headgear, but it was like they called them jumpers, and then I had a thing. Jumpers. Yeah. So I had an underbite, so they went like this. Oh. For a really long time, and then I had a thing over the roof of my mouth that I had to turn every night with a key. What? Yeah, and I had to expand. Boy, wonder knows what I'm talking about. I had to expand <clears throat> my mouth out because I had a little mouth, and then. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then I did. That's never been my problem. And oh, and then uh, yeah. Wait, you, it was like years of. Did you have the rubber work. bands on no. the braces? Uh, I did have rubber bands. 
Man, you are a nerd. I know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. No dental work of any kind for this radio host. What? That's right. Only one cavity my Ridiculous. whole life, people. Only one cavity. No braces. You're so braggy right now. No braces, no retainers, no headgear, no bumpers, no uppers, no downers. Well, sometimes some downers. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, no dental work. No broken bones either. No stitches. All right, you're just bragging now. I'm not bragging. Some These people are, are accident prone and have headgear, all right? My brother. Oh, man. That guy used to get hurt all the time. Yeah. Mm hmm. Never my fault. That's what you told your mom. I didn't do it, Mom. Katie, today I want to announce that I'm. I have an announcement. Tell the people, Brett. I'm pushing the reset button. Okay. On my life. How so? On my entire life. No, just, uh, I'm just pushing the reset button. I've got to push the reset button. Been so eating unhealthily lately. I feel run down. I feel tired. We've been working hard on this show every day. I'm tired. I'm pushing the reset button, Katie. Today's okay. the day. So I've started out today, just a nice cup of coffee so far. I'm gonna eat a sensible breakfast after this is over. Maybe just like a little bowl of cereal and then see if I can go without eating for three weeks. <laughs> That's my plan. completely reasonable and yeah. super rational. No, it's just been getting out of control lately, you know? Like, we've been, okay, how many weeks have we been doing this show? We have a phone call coming in? Mm -hmm. Should we continue this conversation after the phone call? Perhaps. Is this Vicky LeClaire? It's not Vicky LeClaire. What's the area code? 614. Ooh, I don't know that area code. Let's either. talk to this person. All right. All right. Hello? Oh, uh, I got all excited. 614 area code. Boo. Where is that? I don't know. All right, listen. Hey, hold on. What? We were talking. What were we talking about? You oh, not man. eating for three weeks. Your oh, anorexia. Yeah. Oh, no. I was saying that uh, how long have <clears throat> we been doing this show? How many weeks? Four. This is our fourth week. Mm, no, this is our fifth week. We're in this our fifth week. This is our week. fifth week. Yeah. That's so, what I said, guys. So, Please. and then before that, we were doing like at least two or two three weeks, weeks of, of like pre production on figuring everything out. So, but five weeks of waking up at this ungodly hour. And it has really thrown off my schedule. It's a problem. My eating schedule specifically. Also, yesterday morning, there were three confections in this lobby there was the birthday cake that you made yourself. Mm hmm. You what? You have something to say? Man, this uh, conversation's really, <laughs> you and your facial expressions over there. I What's going to, on? I'm gonna step out of the studio for just a second. You're leaving me? I am. Uh, who's gonna press I, the buttons? I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. Wait, it's, what is happening right, right now? What's happening? I think our guest is calling. Our, our guest is- Our guest is here in the lobby or outside somewhere, I'm assuming. Oh, well, Boy Wonder can calling. go find her. Can you, can you go find <clears> her? <throat> So Katie can press the buttons. He's got it. All right. He's we got to go to music anyway soon. So tell me about your manorexia. Well, now I don't even know what we're talking about here. You are, <laughs> you got to switch to decaf, Katie. You're a little all over the place yeah. over there today. That's every day, Brett. She was calling, not texting? Yes, it was a phone call. Hmm. Doesn't she know we're on the air right now? <laughs> she should. That was in the email. Very Vicky LeClaire of her. Yeah. <laughs> What were we talking about? Oh, anyway, my point is, is just my eating schedule has been crazy, and I feel like a, a, a whale lately. I just, I'm like, I'm unhealthy. I got to eat it better. Yeah. It's not even so much like a weight thing or no, whatever. It's, it's just, I just feel unhealthy. You got to feel good. Yeah, I don't feel good. I'm like tired at the end of the day because I've been eating like crap. Plus, I think when you wake up early, like there's something happens in your brain where you just want like sweet things that are bad for you. Right. Greasy, sweet, salty, sugary, you know? Yeah. You know, on the old podcast, I could never talk like this because Marty has this phobia when people start describing food. Mm. Like, the, the Food Network is his horror movie. So, like, what I just did when I... Like, if he's listening Greasy, right salty. now, wherever he is, Bill from Beijing or Steve <clears throat> from nowhere, wherever he is right now, when he heard me say greasy, salty, sweet, crunchy possible like delicious 
any of those words. Delicious even? Oh yeah, he's ready to vomit wherever he is. No, delicious isn't perfectly acceptable. He word. can't take it. How about like umptuous? Umptuous mouth great feel. Ma- oh, you just took it right <laughs> from me. I was gonna say mouthfeel. All right. Should we take a break and then uh come back with Let's do it. Madeline Lauer? Yeah. And get into all things open book. This is an ocean between the waves by the war on drugs. Thank you for watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast version of The Brett Davern Show. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message and whatever song this is. Sometimes the rules just won't let us play real music on YouTube or the podcast. It's not a big deal. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a second. That was a war on drugs introduced to this radio host by William Bo Murchoff. Bilbo. Bilbo Murchoff. Um, I love them. I think they're great. And that song was what, 14 minutes long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. I like it. You know what? I like long songs unless I'm at a karaoke bar. And then if you get up there and I start hearing the opening to Bohemian Rhapsody, I want to strangle you yeah. with the microphone cord that you're holding. And if it's a cordless mic, I just want to beat you to death with it. <laughs> I'm serious because listen, just just the best part of karaoke is like a verse and a chorus, you know? Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, right? That's the best part. Yeah. Not the second verse of living on a prayer. Boring. And come on, the best part of Bohemian Rhapsody is, uh, you know, when it kicks in, the Wayne's World part. You know what I mean? Do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. Scalamouche, scalamouche, will you do the fandango? You know what I mean? We don't want to hear you singing, Mama. Nope. All right. This is, uh, what? let's see, the next song is I Am the Highway by Audio Slave. Thank you for watching on YouTube or for listening to the podcast version of our show. We love you. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message. Sometimes rules don't allow us to play that kind of stuff on YouTube or on the podcast. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a few seconds. Keep up with all things Brett Davern Show on Twitter at Brett Davern Show, IW Radio. I am the highway, audio slave, Good a one. slave to the audio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's a better day. Oh, Madeline Lauer, welcome to the studio. Hi. Hi. Get up right on that thing. All right. Get up there. Let the people hear you. There we go. I just try to jam my face right into the microphone. Okay. That's my style. I mean, you know, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just saying that's what I do. How are you? I'm so good. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, Ohio born and raised. Yes. Now, I was listening as you were entering the studio here. I think I counted you have 13 brothers and sisters? How many <laughs> brothers and sisters do you have? That is incorrect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but close, though. Um, no, I, I have two brothers and two sisters. Two brothers and two sisters and you. Five kids. Five. My goodness. Yes. Yeah, so Your parents. Mm-hmm. What's going on over there? Um, I don't know. They were ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> ambitious. Yeah. Where do you fall in the line? I'm second youngest. Mm. So I have an older sister, two older brothers, and then I have a little sister. Two older brothers. Yes. In Ohio. Yes, everyone lives in Ohio right Yeah, now. and you said your older brothers are like s- over six feet tall? Yes. They're both? <clears throat> tall family. My dad is like six, seven, so. Oh, my God, six, know, seven. They got those genes. Jeez, that's <laughs> lucky. What, what happened? 
with me? Yeah. I know. Well, I she's second was... youngest. It's like it, it ran out of... <laughs> it's like it a singular out of commercial. <laughs> it, just, yeah, it starts Seriously, decreasing though, over that's time. That's exactly what it is. Oh, that's funny. What do they do? What do all your brothers and sisters do? My uh, brothers are attorneys. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They're giant attorneys? Yeah. My <laughs> older sister... Um, so funny. My sister is pregnant, and she also just adopted a baby. Oh, wow. Nice. So she's, she's got, got her, her hands, hands full yeah, with that. Busy. Yeah. And then um, my little sister works for my mom. Uh-huh. Um, she does, like, administrative stuff in her office. Oh, okay. So, yeah, all they're right. all s- normal. <laughs> what? I've seen this study. I think it's kind of interesting. There's a study out there. I don't know where it's from. But it says that tall people are statistically more successful than short people. What? It's well, true. <laughs> I beg to differ. No, there's a. It's a like like just based on income. I don't alone. like that study. I've well, never heard that, but yeah. I'm short. Am I short? I don't know if I'm short. I don't think you're short. I'm like five ten, five nine, five ten. But I like, like that's average. If I'm in an audition, I'm six feet. Right. <laughs> that's what I say every time. They go, uh, yeah, Brett. Just uh, go ahead, say your name and your height. I'm like Brett Davern, six feet tall. Yeah. You want to fight about it or what? Like <laughs> That's I, what I you say, follow up oh, with. Oh, I every say time. it with attitude, yeah. <laughs> or I'll say, um, or I'll say like, uh, uh, Brett Davern, uh, five foot ten. Or no, I <laughs> no. I said last week I went on audition. I said, I said Brett Davern, I play five foot nine to six feet tall. <laughs> Gave him a range. Wow, I didn't know you had to yeah. state your height like that. Give him a range. Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you? Yeah. I'm not, I don't know that world. Really? You never been on an audition? No. no. Um, I just I just started doing acting classes for fun. Uh huh. Cool. And uh, turns out I'm actually kind of good at it. I do them because I need them. Yeah. Nah, not yeah. for fun. I do it because it's required. <laughs> <laughs> Agents like get to an acting class now. Yeah. Um. So just music for you. Yeah, for now. Yeah, that's for awesome. Now. But you've been in LA how long? Ten years. Ten years, and you've avoided acting class that long? I know. Usually when you get off the plane, they put a butterfly net over you and drag you off to uh, uh, sh- uh, uh, actor's boot camp. What's one of them I could have gone with? Yeah? I think All that's right. everyone keeps saying that. They're like, I can't believe you haven't done yeah. acting yet because I'm just so so like that. How it's did you get so lucky to avoid all the... All the choices. Uh, I don't know. I choices. Just bending at just the waist and shaking it out and all the <laughs> play, doing uh, the mirror and right. well, all the dumb exercises they make you do. Yep. Don't drop the ball. What's yeah. the Here, mirror? Katie, I'm oh, making a ball. Right. And I'm going to pass it to you. Oh, oh, oh now you just... Catch it, Madeline. And the mirror, I did you know, learn the this mirror one. game, you know, you stand across from each other. I don't yeah. know the mirror game. But you, like, stand across from, like, we would stand pretty close. We'd, we'd stand, like, you know, right in front of each other. And then... I would if I move my eyebrow, then you move your eyebrow. You try to just mirror everything I'm doing. Oh no! You haven't done that yet. No. Oh, that's day four. I would, you'll love it. I would suck at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the attitude to have. <laughs> yeah, that's how you should go into it. Okay. Yeah. So t- let's talk about music then, since that's more your game. All right. When did you get into all this? Um, I've been singing since I could talk. Of course. One of those things. Uh-huh. Um, but it wasn't until I was like 16, and my grandpa actually was like I have a friend in Chicago who has a recording studio if you want to write some songs and record Mm -hmm. and uh, the songs they're so funny I still have them but they're (laughs) really bad really really bad and uh, but the whole process to me was just so cool the fact that I could write something sure record it and then have it and then show it to people and yeah so that's where I kind of first started Mm -hmm. and then um my parents wouldn't let me really pursue it until i graduated high school oh that's good for them yeah very smart to be honest yeah no i love that let me move out here i think even too young good job mom and dad (laughs) i like that but um i auditioned for some sort of talent show where i met a producer and he was like can you come out the last half of your senior year Uh uh-huh and start recording your first album so nice. my dad and i packed up and we lived in a hotel for like three months wow finished high school in that hotel went back graduated <clears throat> moved out here but you avoided the oakwood what's that the oakwood apartments you know what that is right mm-hmm. you avoided that <laughs> I, apparently i'll I don't explain know it during is. the music break <laughs> okay it's good and that's good so i never left 
Here wow. I am, and here later. you are. Is your dad still living in the hotel? Or is he, he is, yeah. Yeah, really? I go see him sometimes. <laughs> He's just waiting for you to come back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Madeline, you've left me here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's kind of awesome. And here you are, just still here doing I it. Am. Uh, open Book is out now, right? It is. Yeah. Open Book's out now. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, everything Apple like that. Apple Music. Um, you can even find it on my SoundCloud. We're going to hear a song from it right now, aren't we, Katie? Mm -hmm. We're going to hear Come Around by Come Madeline on. Lauer. And we'll be back to talk more with her after this. show anytime just search for it on your favorite podcast app but especially the adobe app for ios 
Madeline's album, Open Book, available now everywhere. Uh, videos on YouTube too, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Bunch of videos on YouTube. Check her out on Instagram everywhere. Now, I'm, am I am I supposed to say Madeline or am I supposed to say Matt? Because you introduce yourself as Maddie. I know it does get confusing. People call me both. Equally. When I'm talking about your album, I'm supposed to say Madeline, Madeline Lauer. Yeah, that's the artist name. Okay. Um, but but now that we're friends. Yeah, just call me Maddie. It's like as if you were Robert De Niro. I can call you Bobby. Uh, sure, just exactly like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep, yeah. just like that. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Madeline, <clears throat> before we let you go enjoy the rest of your day, one last thing to do with you. Okay. All right. I have two note cards. Okay. I'm going to put one in each hand. They each contain a different line of questioning. Uh, okay. Don't, don't look too long. <laughs> don't try to steal my questions. All right. Uh, you determine what line of questioning I ask you because I'm going to put them behind my back, and then you tell me right or left hand, and then that determines what line of questioning I ask you. Okay. Like the... Uh, like the find the baseball under the hat at the Dodger game. You know what I mean? Oh, right. right? Totally. The, um, okay. What do they call that? Like a magic cup magic <clears throat> trick. Yeah, but there's a name for the uh, that game. It's like the, find um, the ball. Or there's a name for that game, though. Three card Monty. It's kind of like that. All right, There's Brett. an old school reference for you, everybody. <laughs> I'm not okay. too familiar. Madeline Lauer, left or right or right or left? I'm going to definitely pick left. Ten questions. The purple card. Okay. All right. No peeking. <laughs> I can't read it. All right. Anyways. Ten questions. I wish I would have come up with a better title for that line of questioning, <laughs> but you know what? We've been doing it for over a year now, and if it ain't broke... We're in it. Don't complain to me. Number one. They start off easy, and then they get hard. I'm nervous already. I'm you sorry. should be. <laughs> okay. Number one. What is your blood type? Oh. I'm just kidding. Whoa, she knew. That was a complete joke, by the way, but good. <laughs> Number I one. just found out. Oh, actually. positive? Oh, negative? Do we know? Oh, positive. Oh, positive? Mm -hmm. Oh, is like the you best can one, to right? Everyone. Isn't that the. Yeah, yeah you universal. Can, so universal. I am an organ donor. Just universal I donor. Feel like it's my yeah. duty. Yeah. I went and got a replacement driver's license. They send it to me, and all of a sudden I was a donor, and I was like, wait a minute. Uh, really? I did not. I don't remember checking this. that box. And then I kind of got flattered because I was like, oh, maybe the lady at the DMV was like, hey, you we, should do we need your some of that. duty and be <laughs> an organ donor? No, I think she be? was like, hmm, mm. we could use some of that blonde hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> they I don't, don't know hair <laughs> is one of the organs How that they take. Listen, when you got this hair, Katie, <laughs> All right. they're coming after oh, it. Oh, boy. Man. All right, Madeline, now back to the real questions. Okay. Number one, mm -hmm. what is your most used emoji? The honey pot. Uh, oh. Interesting. I use it for everything. Nobody's ever said that one. No. Nope. Yeah. What do you, uh, give me a context. Um, use it in a sentence, please. Let's say my friend posts a picture where Wait, she looks so cute. Wait, get up on that microphone. So I, want, I want people to hear you. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Let's say my friend posts a picture where she looks so cute. Mm. Or somebody posts a song that I really like. Wow. Or, so it's like sweet. It's like sweet, yeah. It's like, ooh, honey. I would only use it if I was watching that Jessica Alba movie from the late 90s. Yeah. That's that also Jessica a Alba? great yeah. movie. Was I right with that reference? <laughs> yep. Yes. Mariah Carey in that? No. no. Mm. Damn. Dude, that so was glitter. Close. Yeah. Glitter. glitter. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Uh, number two, what's your go-to coffee shop order? Just black coffee. Boom. Love, Love it. it. High five. Up high. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Number three, don't come in here with your steamed almond milk and your, 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 uh, Powdered creamer. Fancy, all right, fancy, fancy pants. powdered creamer and almond milk. <laughs> I want to meet that person. Listen, there are people out there in Los so. Feliz. It's so it's so hipster now that they use powdered creamer. <laughs> Yuck! No, thank you. They're like, look, I'm already wearing old man pants anyway. I might as well just go full old guy with. All right, I don't know what I'm talking about. Number three, uh, what's your most watched movie of all time? Um, I've seen the movie Closer. Probably a hundred billion times. Really? Yes. Every time I watch it, I don't know. It's like the first time. Really? I love that movie. Yeah. Wow. Just the drama, the love, the intensity, it's and the acting is so Gets you, huh? deep. I just love it. Yeah. Wow. Probably right. that one. Number four. Who's your celebrity crush? Candace Swanpool. Ooh, who's that? Mm, Victoria's Secret model. Have oh, you seen really? her? Oh, really? No. <laughs> She's I haven't. not human. I haven't been. I haven't gotten the catalog in years. <clears throat> I'm not gay or lesbian or anything, but, yeah, but whatever. I, maybe for her. You got She's a lady crush. That's okay. Whew. I have a man crush. 
Oh yeah. He's sitting to my left. <laughs> Your wow. stepson? That's Lucky weird. you. Listen, Katie. <laughs> the heart wants what the heart wants. Stop it right now. That was weird. We've gone too far. I'm sorry, Wayne. All right, number five. <laughs> Did you ever have an AOL instant messenger? And if so, what was your screen name? It was 8MaddieCakes8. Maddie Cakes. Adorable. I love it. Yeah. What was our problem, everybody? We all had the dumbest Stupid. screen names. Well, we were all young. Yeah. It was happier times. Yeah. <laughs> it really less was. serious times. You know, everybody was like a lot less serious with it. Now everybody's just first name, last name, boring. <sighs> Yeah, you know? right? One of my first email addresses was like, Bready Boy. Bready Boy. <laughs> yeah. That so much should more still fun. do that. I know. I vote for it. That's actually true. I should change it back. Like, every time I get an e email from the agent, they have to type in Bready Boy. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Puts a smile on everybody's face. I, you know what? I think we've stumbled onto something here, people. Let's all get happier and just start using dumb nicknames everywhere. All right. Let's do it. My first email was a Backstreet Boys reference. Really? Oh my God. Yeah. What Which was one? It? it was. It was. Nick Carter is cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Nailed it. <laughs> Nick Carter is cute. Eighteen. <laughs> what was it? At AOL.com. Wait, you're first for real. Yeah. He he, he guessed got it. it? Right on. I nailed it. You got it. No, come on. What was Nick it? Nick Carter. Yeah. No, it was Backstreet. I don't remember. Backstreet, but it was Backstreet. girl. Backstreet. Yeah, it might have been that. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying yes. Yeah. I don't remember, but I know it was Backstreet Boys reference. All right. <laughs> you can't go wrong. <laughs> Number six, finish this sentence. Something I need to improve upon is. <clears throat> um, my meditation. Oh. I Ooh. keep trying. Speaking of Los Feliz. It's just really hard for me. Yeah? Yeah. You try, to, you try every day? I try every day. Every day? And I, it's not working. Mm. That's one thing I'm like. Girl, come on. You we can were do talking this. about earlier before you came in about pushing the reset button. That's probably a good way to do it. Yeah. Meditate on it. I need to do more. It's of that. hard. Like, what do yeah. you. I, like, I keep reading about what I'm supposed to be doing, but. Mm. Nothing. I know. See, that's, I think that's really hard problem. for me. Yeah. It's hard for most people. Mm. There's, like, apps and stuff you can. Yeah. I've, There's an app for everything. <laughs> I've tried. Uh, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. Whatever. Number seven. How many unread emails you got in your inbox right now, you think? Oh, none. I read them. I got, that's so anxiety. I got to get them read. This is a new yeah. question to the 10 questions, and a lot of people have zero. I can't see those little red numbers yeah. stack up. Hmm. Just so do you just have it not show you the numbers, or it's really zero? <laughs> no, it's really zero. Because you know you can set it to just not show you the little red number. What? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I feel like it's one so or the other. Today. Either they ha no, I was excited about that. Oh. That was genuine. Oh, because I'm with Maddie. I can't handle the numbers stacking up. Yeah. I feel like it's one or the other. You either have like seven hundred mm -hmm. or zero. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's never. And really I was in the seven hundred for a minute, and then. But you took control of your life. I took control. I like it. Good for you. Thanks. Number eight. Do you prefer wearing boy shorts, granny panties, thongs, or going commando? <clears throat> I love wearing my boyfriend's boxers. There you go. The most mm. out of all oh. those choices. I like that. Mm -hmm. I love them. That's not an option. <coughs> you went off the script, but, but it's I like an acceptable it. You answer. said boy shorts. That's true. I, I, I should change I heard it to, that wrong. Do you prefer wearing boys shorts? <laughs> I guess I prefer thongs the most. Mm. I mean, yeah. if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Does that question make you uncomfortable? No, just because right, I'm, I'm an open book. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Bring it back. I yeah. like it. See? <laughs> Without looking, do you know what color you're wearing today? Um, I'm wearing maroon. Number nine. What's next? <clears throat> well, I just started writing for my next album. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited about this one because um, we're going to be doing it a lot different than the first one. Mm -hmm. The first one I wrote primarily by myself. Okay. Um, and I would pick out of a catalog of beats mm -hmm. <clears throat> by this production team I'm working with. Yeah. And I mainly did that just because of time. I was trying to get something out. Sure. Um, and I was just really busy. I was had a full-time job at the time and I was going to school full-time. So mm -hmm. 
yeah, for the sake of time, I just did it that way. But this time, this is like this is my job. So um, I'm writing with people with cool. just a guitar yeah. right now. Yeah. And uh, then we're gonna get a band. We're gonna teach them the songs. Nice. And we're gonna rehearse for like a week. Yeah, really just make kind a go of like, of it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Then record it live. Well, if you need a guy Ooh, who knows how cool. to, oh, yeah. record it live. Record it oh, live. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, if you need a dumb blonde guy who knows four chords on the guitar. I know exactly who to call. I'm your man. <laughs> Perfect. Number yeah. 10, Madeline. Mm -hmm. It's the most important question okay. though. Okay. Because you're, it's an easy, it, well, it's a simple question. Simple, I shouldn't say easy, it's a simple question. Okay. Maybe a simple answer, but your answer will tell me everything that I need to know about you as a person. Oh God, no pressure. No. <laughs> pressure. Madeline Lauer, what is your favorite fruit? Mango. That's a wrap everybody. <laughs> on another edition of the Brett Davern Show. Thank you out there for listening live on Adobe Radio. You can also subscribe to the podcast version of our show on iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. And if you like what you heard, tell a friend. Tell them. Oh yeah. Say goodbye, Producer Katie. Bye! <laughs> Producer Katie's on Twitter and Instagram at K-A-T-I-E-L-E-C-L-E-R-C. -E -E what a spelling in today's episode. Yeah. I'm kind of obsessed with spelling. <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible speller. I'm not very good at it either, but I like it. I did really well on like all the spelling tests through elementary school because I have a, a good memory, but that doesn't mean I can spell anything. It just means I can memorize. Mm, well, that's pretty much the main thing in spelling. Memorizing how it's spelled. <laughs> so, I'm it on, works. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at bdav, B-D-A-V-V. -V. You spelled it wrong. I know. And, wow. <laughs> there you go. You can also follow the show on any of the social medias, including Facebook, at Brett Davern Show, or go to brettdavernshow.com for archived episodes, photos of our guests, and much, much more. Today's guest, Madeline Lauer can be found on Twitter at Madeline Lauer. M A D E L I N E L A U E R. Yeah. Or Instagram, like a Maddie, right? Is that right? Is that correct? <laughs> what? That's not right? <laughs> What's your Instagram? Same, it's just Madeline Lauer. Really? Because I typed in Madeline Lauer and there's someone out there at like a Maddie. Well, I don't know. I think you need to get in a fight with that person. I think so too. Yeah. This is a problem. It'll go viral. So Instagram is Madeline Lauer as Every, well. All my socials. Perfect. Thank you because I was gonna yell at you for having it be different. No. SoundCloud the same. Madeline yep. Lauer. Mm -hmm. Madeline Lauer everywhere. The album is called Open Book. You can find it everywhere. Go look it up. It's nice. It's a nice chill. It's got a nice chill vibe. Yeah. Meditate to it, people. <laughs> so once again. For producer Katie, Boy Wonder, Madeline Lauer, anyone else on today's episode? Mm, that We're, person that tried to call. That was Madeline. <laughs> Who else? That was me? No, not oh, no, for that. Somebody else. No, there's someone oh, else. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, boy. I don't know things. Did you have someone else to say something to? You want a shout out? No? Come on, now's your chance. I was going to say Freddy Boy, but. Oh. You interrupted, then I felt like it was the, oh, a better thing that you interrupted. That's what I do Madeline, around he's here. he's an interrupter. That's what I do around here. I've noticed. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Brett, and I'm reminding all of you to be kind and take care of each other. And we will see you tomorrow. That was our show. Good night. My mom. She's going to text me so bad. Adobe Radio. Did you know you can watch The Brett Davern Show on YouTube? Yeah, you can. Go to youtube.com slash Brett Davern Show.